All-time lows. All-time lows, sorry. All right. Hey there, Billy with the little red willy. What the fuck do you know about my dick? How dare you insult it like that? A fucking... I challenge you. I'll challenge you to an Instagram photo. No, I'm kidding. All right. Dear Bill, uh, I'm a 26-year-old guy living in Pennsylvania. Until recently, I was dating my girlfriend of four years. We bought a house together six months ago. I, I, you what? You're 26. You're in Pennsylvania. You're dating a girl for four years and you bought a house together. We had two great cats and couldn't be happier. What the fuck? You marry this girl, dude, or stop buying shit with her. Sorry. Uh, about two weeks ago, she went on a 10-day group hike, hiking trip to Nevada with her aunt and a bunch of random people. When she came back, I had a $300 purse waiting for her as a welcome home gift. However, after she thanked me for the gift, she sat me down and said we needed to talk. Oh, yeah, she went on a hike, dude, which means she did some soul searching and some dick sucking. No, I'm kidding. So then we, uh, <laughs> she then told me she was breaking up with me because she doesn't want to live in the suburbs anymore or work a desk job anymore. She said she wanted to move out west and become an outdoor adventure guide and that it was a dream to work in our country's national parks and live an outdoor adventurous, adventure-type life. I asked if there was another guy, and she said no. She said she just needed to find herself and follow her dream. Um, all right, well, up until now, you can't get mad at her. She's just telling you what she wants in life. As a regular listener of your podcast, I always hear you tell people to follow their dreams. So even though I was heartbroken, I supported her decision. Well, dude, I got to tell you, that's really mature of you. Most people would go and, you know, most guys would go into the false set. Of, you fucking bitch. Um, <clears throat> the next day I saw her, she got a text from a guy named Zach. Uh-oh. We don't have any Zachs in our friend circle. Uh-oh. While she was in the shower, I snooped through her phone and read her text message with Zach. There were messages about how much they missed each other and how she, she couldn't wait to move out to Arizona they both sent each other naked pictures, and they talked about how much they liked fucking each other on their trip. Oh, boy. She still doesn't know I've been through her phone, so as of now, I'm at an all-time low. I have to sell my house and lose a ton of money. I lost my girlfriend to another guy. She is also taking the cats, and since I can't afford an apartment by myself, I'll be a 26-year-old guy living with my parents. Well, don't you get half of the house? And he goes, and to top it all off, she's walking around with that $300 fucking purse. My question is, how do I confront her about the text message? Do you have any advice for me moving forward? And was there ever a point in your life that there, that was an all-time low, and how'd you get through with it? Um, first of all, dude, uh, sorry you're going through all of that. Here's the bright side. All right, look. If your girlfriend went on a fucking hike... That's what she always wanted to do. And when she went out there, you know, she gets all caught up with this other guy. She comes back and just immediately breaks up with you. You know, maybe she's letting you down a little bit easier that she didn't meet this other fucking guy. Why, why add insult to injury? Um, but the fact that she accepted the purse... She should have said, I can't accept this. She didn't have to tell you about the fucking guy. I mean, what, what's that going to do other than make you feel fucking horrible? Um, here's the bright side of this, all of this, okay? The bright side is you're a fucking great guy. You're a solid guy. You didn't get mad at her or any of that type of stuff. You're supporting her fucking dream. And uh, she kept the purse, which means she's a cunt. And I don't think this guy, Zach, knows what's going to hit him. You know, but you know what? Zach might be a dick. She's going out there. She, she you know, whatever. I mean, what, what, what are you going to do? She wants to go out and go fuck some guy who wears sandals on a rubber raft. I mean, that, that's, that's her idea of a man. Then you just got to let her go. Um, but the thing is, you can't internalize it like it had anything to do with you. It had nothing to do with you. All right. You just picked the wrong one. But you know what, dude? I was going to say, at least you didn't have, you didn't have any kids. You learn something. Don't buy a fucking house with somebody you're not married to. Okay? 
once you know 100 fucking percent that this is the person you want to spend your life with and they say that to you, you know, hopefully they're not lying, which is the difficulty of fucking relationships. Um, then you go out and you buy a fucking house with somebody. But, dude, you're only 26 years old. You got your whole life ahead of you. And um, I would bring up the fact that she was with that guy, Zach. I think, I mean, I don't know. This is what you should do. This is what you should do. Here's what you do. Just be a total fucking gentleman. And ask her if she likes, oh, God, here we go. Just sit her down and just ask her if she likes the person and all that. And right, right before this is the last time you're going to see, uh, last time, you know, you're going to ever see her. Just right before she sees hey, honey, you know, good luck with your dream and blah, 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 blah. You do your little bullshit hug and she walks away and you go, oh, honey, one more thing. Hey, tell Zach I said what's up and just shut the fucking door. And then as she's walking away, you just scream out, you fucking whore. Oh. Um, no, you know what would be funny? Listen, you, you just say it, you, you throw Zach in the middle of it. You could really have a lot of fun with this. And I'll tell you something right now. No one knows more how much fun you can have with it than a woman. A woman knows how to fucking, like, I'm, I'm going to ruin this. Women are really good at this. Guys are just like, oh, let's go fight. Women know how to be like, ooh, I got this piece of information. What is the perfect fucking way this will do the most amount of damage? What if you put it in the middle of it? If you say, listen, I just want you to know I'm really happy for you and Zach. You know, you're going to be out. No, it's too early. I'm really happy for you. You're going to be out there living your dream. And as much as I'm going to miss you and everything, I'm just so happy that you have the courage to follow your dream, you know. Uh, somewhere in there, somewhere in there, you just gotta, you know, you can be out there rafting, you know, you can keep fucking Zach, and but no, don't say, don't say fuck. See, I'm gonna mess it up, but you understand where I'm going with this. You gotta just put, just put, drop Zach in the middle of it, and then do about two more sentences, and then just stop and just stare at her, and just, <laughs> just leave her in the the stunned silence of that moment. Um, and then whisper in your ear. I'm so happy I didn't have kids with you. And then you walk away. Sorry. All right. That was creepy. Anyways.